So, Chris, your overall assessment on defeat in our final home game of the season here at Mill Farm? Well, it doesn't seem uh, 10 minutes ago since I was talking to you uh, from, from Thursday night's uh, game. I just think that the, uh, the conditions the other night, we had everything, didn't we? Rain, soft pitch, um, everything that uh, is hard to play football in. And we did really well, really, really well. But of course, uh, there's always going to be some sort of, uh, like a good night out, there's going to be an hangover. And uh, <clears throat> it was probably a little bit too soon for us to be at full tilt to give Southend a better uh, account of ourselves. They're very good, really good team. Um, I think they're unbeaten in 14, now 15 games. So we would have had to have been at our best to make sure we're good and, and we wasn't. And I think that was a, it was a key factor in, in today's performance. On an individual basis, man of the match was given to Adam Long and he really showed his quality today, especially in the first half of that goal line clearance. He did, and they were again conditions, and uh, you know the the ball ended up on it in what looked like it might roll into the goal, and it happened twice, didn't it? Theo got to it once, and Adam obviously got to the other one. But um, yeah, the lads found it hard today, and it was hard to try and support them. It was hard to try and congeal them. It was hard to try and change it. It was hard for the substitutes to make impact. And I think it's just because it was, uh, like I said to you, it was, it was pretty, a little bit too soon. And ironically, I've just had a quick look at uh, the results and uh, same for Gates said, you know, it's such a shame to be playing Thursday, Saturday. Um, and of course, they had travel as well. So it's, um, it is what it is. Um, we knew what it was. Uh, I was pleased the fact that at uh, half time it was, you know, nil nil. Uh, South Ham were better than us, but it was nil-nil. And then I just thought we could uh, try and create a little bit more energy, uh, try and pass it a little bit more, um, but we didn't. And they, they do what they've done all season. They're very good at getting the ball wide. Uh, if one of your players, which we did, drop off and don't track, it then provides op crossing opportunity. And both of their goals are very similar, but from different sides of the pitch. And zones, crosses and goals and uh, yeah it's, it's, it's well done to them but uh, we couldn't handle that. And that fatigue showed because we went into half time nil nil yes we were pretty much the second best team all afternoon because of that short turnaround but we were digging in deep we were defensively resolute and then it just took a, a oh, moment of quality to sort of carve yeah, us out. Yeah um, I think the players gave their all and they were trying their best and again um, It'd be nice to uh, try and play some football without, even the ball wouldn't stand still on corners, goal kicks, so windy, so windy. And um, you could see mentally, you know, when we clear the ball, we're second to the ball, when we clear it, we're, we're, we're pressing in midfield, but we're, we're heartbeat off of it. Uh, we're breaking in, uh, out, and we're passing, and we pass it out of play. Uh, we've got 1v1s to take people on, we take them on. You know, John's so honest, takes them on. Ball just rolls out for a goal kick before he can cross it. It's, it's all the little things, uh, and they all add up in a big, you know, a big 90, 95 minute game. But um, no, nah, the boys have done great and did great Thursday, and today they gave the all and it wasn't to be. But uh, I do think that had a, a, a mitigating factor into today's performance. But I also think that uh, you know we shouldn't be uh, too downhearted from from that position and the position we're in. And I think we've got to make sure that uh, well. We'll see how, uh, obviously, there's a game on in the next half hour and uh, we need to get ready for next week and we need to finish the season as strong as possible. Just shy of the half hour, Marco and Evans hit both posts oh, with a amazing. great shot at the end of the, uh, on the edge of the box. Mm. How good was it to have him back in the fold today? He's come on as a sub the last few weeks, but to start must have been a real positive well, it, for you and the team. Yeah, I wanted to have a look at him. Um, you know, there's a lot of lads' contracts up and Owen's uh, personality and character is fantastic. And um, he he helped create the second goal on Thursday, and he's been training great. And today is that sort of day. If that nestles in the top corner, it changes the uh, rhythm of what's going on. Um, you know, we were fresher then. It gives an uplift and a feel-good factor to everybody, including the players. And suddenly um, it, they click in. But it wasn't to be. So, you know, South End's day and well done Owen for the effort. But uh, we make sure we're ready for next Saturday. 
very few home games we've lost here at Mill Farm, Chris, especially since the turn of 2024. To end the calendar season with defeat must be really disappointing, but overall, how yeah. would you deflect, reflect rather on our home campaign for this camp? Yeah, yeah I'd, I, I think um, winning's important. Obviously, we didn't do it uh, a lot starting the season home or away. Uh, we've started to do it more, and then we've done it enough to get in a ridiculous form to try and look out to get out of a situation. Um, I had a look this morning, you know, we're in the 30 odd games or what, I think that's the 30th game, something like that, you know, win percentage is 40 odd percent. That's his, his playoff form uh, to be in this position. Um, so there's no shame in getting beat uh, to South End. And um, it's just a shame we couldn't have uh, had a, another 24 hours or, um, yeah, be right at full tilt, and then it's a little bit more acceptable today from my point of view. But yeah, I, can't, I commend the lads, and uh, yeah, you always want to try and finish on a high. Um, but I think if you put both games together, I think we have. And what we need to do is look at being at our best next Saturday. One more game to go. Thank everybody for supporting everybody in it. Uh, the players have been great. Like I said, if 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 they didn't do what they do, we'd already know our fate. And it's brilliant that they've put the club in this position from the position they were in. And one more opportunity a week today, Beachy, to end the season on a high away at Woking. A, a late start on Friday, no doubt, with the, the early kickoff on Saturday. Another long trip to London, but an opportunity for us to celebrate a season which looked pretty certain for relegation early parts of December. And now we can go into that final game, hopefully, in a relatively comfortable position. It may be, and, but at the same time, we've got to make sure we're good, we're professional. Um, you know, the lads deserve a bit of rest from them, two hits. Um, you know, like I said before in, in the interview, I feel a little bit sorry for Gates, because, you know, to all, do all that work and they've got to go again 24 hours later, 24 hours later. And to be fair, if you, if you, if you want to sort of dissect uh, this league and at the end of this season, you know, there's millions of pounds spent in this league now and to end it like, you know, it's not non-league football anymore. Play Tuesday, play Thursday, play Saturday. It's not fair for all that years worth of work to be put in that position. Uh, but it is. So, you know, good luck to them. And from our point of view, we just got to make sure we're good. I, I think after even including my voice, I think uh, after a little bit of rest, the players will have that uh, spring back in a step. And we really look forward to going to Woking.